Hey guys, Troy here back with another video today. An interesting one. This one is a little bit more conversational, but I think hopefully it'll be able to help some of you guys out there. Today we are going to be talking about vintage sports cards and whether or not you should be investing in them. Today I was watching a video and the hobby's favorite, everyone's favorite card collector, Gary V, was talking about vintage sports cards and how much he believes in them and why he thinks they're a good buy. And first, before we even get into my opinion on it, emphasis on opinion, I just want to clarify that this is my opinion. Like everything I make on my channel, this is just what I think. There's a reason that my channel is not named Sports Card Invest Quick Money Makers. And that's no offense to maybe anyone who has channels named something like that, but that's not really the angle I like to take. I just want to share my thoughts and players that I find interesting. So that brings me into my answer on vintage sports cards. My recommendation would be do what you enjoy. When it comes to sports cards, even if you do consider yourself somewhat of an investor, you should try to have fun along the way. For me, one of the smartest things to do probably would just be to buy Silver Prism PSA 10s and let them sit and wait for a player to blow up and make money, but I know that's not something I would enjoy. And it's kind of the same thing for me on vintage sports cards. Watching Tyler Hero in these playoffs, cheering for Giannis maybe to win a championship one day, rolling the dice with someone like Bull Bull, brings so much excitement to NBA games that, that I can't really put a price on. There's something about owning cards of players who are playing right now and not knowing exactly what's gonna happen that I think is one of the greatest parts about the hobby. But at the same time, let me acknowledge the fact that you can buy a Tim Duncan Topps Chrome PSA 10 for the same price as a Tyler Hero Prism Silver PSA 10. That is 100% absurd. From, from a value standpoint, I agree, that doesn't make sense. And Gary Vee even said in his thing, one of Michael Porter Jr., Tyler Hero, you know, Bull Bull, he said, you know, two out of three, their cards are gonna go, go to zero at some point. I'd even go as far as to say it's almost certainly three out of three, their cards are gonna go to zero. But like I said, you don't get that same enjoyment from the vintage cards, at least for me personally. But also at the same time, I think from an investing standpoint, I'd make the argument that modern cards might be the right decision as well. Vintage cards definitely give you more stability. Those are, all, those are definitely not gonna go down to zero. But as is the case in the stock market, when the most volatility is happening, that is your chance to make the most amount of money. And that volatility comes with modern sports cards. And the odds are certainly against Michael Porter Jr. becoming a Hall of Famer. I'd probably put them at almost like 98% he does not become a Hall of Famer, so his cards will eventually go to zero. But my, my plan is not to hold them for 10 years. Especially for maybe there's some people watching this video right now who are like real hardcore flippers. I'm not one of those people. I don't think I'll ever be the person to buy these cards for one or two weeks and flip them right away. Like I see these other people recommending like, oh, the PSA 9 is undervalued, this card is gonna go quick. That's a good strategy, I just don't see myself doing it. But especially for those kids, go after the modern sports cards. See if you can flip rather than listening to other people just say, oh, vintage is the way to go. You're gonna have these cards that you have no attachment to, you don't enjoy, and it very well could sit at basically the same price for a long, long time. And once again, I can hear the comments or whatever people are saying now, oh, that's not the safest way to do it. You, you gotta know, why is Jerry West? I, I agree with you. They're undervalued and that probably is a safer way to do it. But I guess the point of this video is once again, me saying everything I echo in all my videos, do what you enjoy. The smartest thing, like probably the smartest sports card strategy and the safest would be to buy LeBron Topps Chrome, I would say Luca Prism Silver, maybe throw a Steph Curry in there, and then also get yourself a Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley, Shaquille O'Neal, whoever else you want, their best cards, and just let it sit. So yeah, you're right, that's, that's the most effective strategy. And like I mentioned, vintage is, would be a huge part of that effective strategy, but for me, and I have a feeling a lot of the people watching, that's not something that you would enjoy very much. And it's not just because I'm a little younger, I have attachment to cards that people at this point would consider vintage. I wanna pick up a Tim Duncan, I wanna pick up a Kobe, 
but I'm just trying to caution people. I, I feel the swell already coming, especially from some of the more veteran card collectors who want to push back against the youth of today. Just because they tell you to invest in vintage and that's the smart way to go does not mean you have to do it. Consider it for sure, especially if you really want you know, a, a diversified portfolio type of thing. But if you're a card collector and you're genuinely enjoying the hobby, I think completely ditching modern sports cards would actually be a financial mistake, one. But more importantly, it would take a lot of joy out of it for people. Don't be dumb, make smart strategic decisions, but feel free to chase the next Giannis. Try to find them. I really think that's most of the fun of the hobby. But also at the same time, yeah, consider buying vintage, but at the end of the day, do what you like to do. All right guys, that's it for the video today. Quick one, more conversational, just my opinion, once again. Um, but make sure to like and subscribe and we're gonna keep the videos coming. Thanks again.